Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Steelers playbook. This playbook right here, I just put out an entire breakdown video of it, entire ebook uh, on my personal site and on my Patreon. So I'm making a video to show you guys uh, just a little bit of what's inside of it. I already did a lot of really good uh, formations out of this, um, including the uh, empty tray stack. The um, I think I did some out of the empty, not the empty Steelers. I know I did the empty tray stack. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a second one. It might be the stack Y flex. I'm not entirely sure, but I do have. Actually, you know what? It wasn't even in this uh, in the gun. It was in the single back trio. Uh, might be called the single back trips now. Exactly. Uh, but basically, this whole thing here is just a preview, um, and I'll post links too. I'll pop up little you know pop ups for those other series of videos I put up. Should be popping up now, um, as well as links in the description. So if you guys want to see that. Uh, but either way, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the first play out of the gun doubles halfback week. Uh, one of my more favorite plays out of this playbook uh, is definitely the slot shake. Now, I typically uh, would pick my plays when it comes to this type of stuff out of, you know, bunch formations, type formations. This is one of the few times where I kind of have an even set on both sides that I really like to play. Um, and it's really because it's so flexible. There's so many different things you can do with it. One of the first things I like to do is I like to motion over uh, Brown here. And you're going to see how this is a really good uh, outside route, especially since this looks like a cover one man. Um, I wish I was running it to the open side of the field, but it's, it's no big deal. It's whatever. So uh, basically everything here is going to be a really good man beater. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it just like this. The square route, I can tell already, is going to be the read uh, because it was a single high man. I wish he would have caught and run that a little better instead of stopping, but it's whatever. Uh, but there's so much good stuff going on here. If it's a zone coverage, uh, James, the tight end running that route, is going to come into play, uh, which this looks like a zone. So I'm basically going to read. It looks like a cover four, uh, but I'm basically going to read what the what the coverage linebacker does here, um, and I'm going to take the underneath guy here. He's just got a nice, easy catch and run for close to 15 right there. So pretty much everything on this play should get open to an extent. I'll go ahead and I'll keep motioning it over. The guy follows. Looks like a cover two. Uh, cover two man is a pretty obvious setup here. So I can definitely go outside to square again, uh, just as long as he beats that outside. And he does. I wish he would have a little more room to the sideline. I should be running to the open side of the field, but I'm not. Not a big deal, though. If I, if I was running this, if I were to move the ball, he would definitely have more catch and run room. But uh, it's all good. You know, you're not always going to have that scenario anyway. So here's another zone coverage. Uh, once again, I'm going to read James and I'm going to read uh, Square. Um, it looks like a cover a cover two again. He sits down. So I pass lead it up. I still can't get that catch and run I'm trying to get, but it's all good. You can see the play. He's not the only person you can uh, motion over either. You can motion over Bryant. Um, and he's going to be really good. He's going to be only good in a man scenario. That way he runs that route is not really the best when it comes to, um, you know, zone coverages. So this looks like a zone. That's not really going to be the way. But if it's a single high safety man, uh, motioning him over is going to be a, a, probably a bigger play than what, even what Brown's doing. Uh, other than that, uh, the really, like I said, the best way to do it is, uh, is Brown for sure. Um, you have some really good check downs here with uh, with Hunter, especially with the man coverage. Hunter's going to be really good. And uh, Bell um, is going to come open behind that. So here they didn't drop down to Bell at all. Um, I'll take that. You know, it's a close 5 to 10 yard, nice catch and run. Yeah, if I get a single high man, um, a really good option. This looks like it is a single high, but actually no, it looks like a cover 3. So it's not uh, what I was expecting. Uh, the reads are going to be the same. Uh, the circle route's pretty good. I don't know if he's going to split that the way that I want him to. Uh, he actually was not the best throw, but he usually splits that cover three. He usually gets in the way of that cover three safety. He didn't really there. Um, he, but it might have been a bad throw. I mean, Rosberg is not playing like he was. So this here looks like a cover two again. I'm definitely looking to the square route. He's the money route um, when it comes to just about everything. I just wish I had a little more room. I could move the ball. I think I will, actually. Yeah, you definitely want to run this to the open side of the field, but that's most of your offense. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to force to make it that way. Uh, but considering uh, what I'm looking at here, I really think that's what I want to do. I want to get a nice big play to end this. Um, here, that looked like a cover three. I'm not really sure, but I went underneath uh, to the tight end. One of those two guys will be open every time. So we're going to run this once or twice with uh, Bryant on the left side. Running a short side, which is not ideal, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here looks like a zone. We're still going to run it. I mean, that's that was just, I don't know, man. That was I should have waited a second. He'd been gone. Yeah, even in zone, you can see how that uh, cornerback in the cover three or whatever is uh, really reacting to Brown and doesn't really react well to the circle route. Uh, we'll see if we can get a good look here. You can see here he's flipping his hips. 
And then by the time I throw it over to uh, Brian, he's wide open. So it's a little bit glitchy that uh, they don't recognize Brian in their area at all. So here we go, another zone. Like I said, watch that outside cornerback over Brown. Watch what he's doing. Second, he, second he cuts, he's already gone. He's already cutting inside. He's already flipping his hits and reacting to, the, to Brown. Yeah, I mean Brian. Brian's is almost. I don't want to say glitchier, but it's it's it really the the cornerback shouldn't be in the zone anyway. Should not be reacting the way that he is. Um, so this is actually. I think I might even like this adjustment more. Look how he's gone. Look how the spacing's there. You know, what I mean, there's just he's just out of there. And I run this play. The reason that this play works the way that it does, it, it actually works better to the short side of the field because when that when you motion him over, and I'll, I'll let you watch it again. Um, Hunter there actually motions out of the way where if I'm on the open side of the field and I'll go ahead and I'll show that I'll go ahead and show what happens when I'm on the open side of the field because it doesn't work the same way watch what everybody this time everybody will shift or rather it's not the shift it's the spacing as you see how close he is now I'm going to run this the exact same way but since he's so far away from Brown it won't work the same way so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll you know I still have a, a, a decent throwing link but you can see how the guy reacts there so it's just a difference as far as how these guys are spaced um, apart. Like, look how far apart Hunter and Brown are. I mean, there's like a good 10 yards there. Well, now if I move it back to the short side of the field, as I'll do, you'll see the difference. Some of the easiest ways to confuse uh, your your uh, the computer is having tight formations like this. And now you see Hunter goes out, Brown and, and Hunter spacing is way, uh, way off. So you're going to see how that's really going to have um, that effect. You can see how there that corner is getting frozen up and then he's coming underneath. The next play I'm going to show is going to play off of that motion from the first play. It's the jailbreak screen, the PA jailbreak screen at the bottom. You're going to run this really different. Let's go ahead and let's pick that and we'll keep going random nickel. All right, so what I'm going to do here, this is a really good uh, setup this year um, for uh, screens. A lot of people really have a hard time stopping the jailbreak screens uh, because you can see how you have, you know, so many blockers with the linemen pulling out. Uh, something that wasn't in the game last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create uh, an additional blocker by motioning over the circle route. Um, and how I do that is basically just snapping the ball before he gets to the end of the line of scrimmage. Uh, and basically what he's going to do is he's going to block for me for uh, an additional couple of seconds so I have time to get rid of uh, the ball to my square route, who's now my only option. Uh, as you can see, he basically picks up where the left tackle um, you know, pulls out and gives me extra blocking. Uh, if it doesn't really work if I try to motion him out and make him a blocker for Brown. It doesn't really work um, As you can see here. He just kind of continues to run that route, uh, but it still works I mean if it's a cover three that circle routes not actually that bad So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna motion this over um, Once again, I'll do the motion snap He'll turn into a blocker right there help me out just to give me a little bit of time to get this ball out Because that's really the easiest way this play gets sniffed out um, is if, you know, I'm going to have a touchdown here. We're going to have a touchdown here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we do. That's right. Antonio Brown's the man. But, yeah, that's the easiest way that this play gets sniffed out is, is you know, you just get a lot of pressure. And then this is a good way of sealing that. Look how he turns into a blocker and gives me time to get the ball out um, to my playmaker, which is basically the only option on this at this point. So, uh, really good technique. Uh, motion hiking this receiver because like I said, he's not doing anything anyway. What's he gonna do? I'm not gonna chuck it up for a, for a deep play. You don't have time for that anyway So this is a really good way um, to seal that blocking in front of you to give you time to get that uh, jailhouse uh, Play off so we'll go ahead and move on The next play that I'm gonna show out of this formation. I really like it's the uh, the strike halfback seam It's really a corner strike um, But you have you know so much going on here with this with this running back going up the seam there Which is really nice. Let's go ahead and let's pick that so many pro Madden players love the corner strike. This one here, to me, takes it to another level um, with this R1 route. If you get a cover three, uh, this is a man, a single high man, so I really have my choice there with the with the C routes in that scenario. Yeah, Bell's route really is all about a cover three. Um, your outside routes can be cover three beaters too. This here looks like another man. They're sending a lot of mans my way, uh, which that C route's been deadly against man forever. So let's go ahead and let's run this a couple times. Here we got that uh, cover three beater. Looks like they were really... Uh, taking away the outside guys here and uh, Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he's a perfect back for something like that. Broke a tackle and he's gone. Not a lot of people are going to be expecting this out of out of a corner route concept. Um, here I'm going to work him inside. That was a cover too. I'm not sure if that was a man or a zone, but I just basically let him inside there. And you can see how he's a really big play. A lot of people are going to be paying attention to these outside routes uh, because the C route is just such a hard concept for a lot of people to stop. 
Um, and then you always have to remember about your check downs. Your check downs are going to be there. Um, here, I'm going to go to Brown on the other side. Brown's a much better athlete. Uh, how do you get caught? Come on, bro. That's not realistic at all. So that's it. That's probably, I don't know if that's the last thing I'm going to do for the Steelers because I do use the Steelers quite a bit. So I'll probably have more Steelers stuff out in the future. But if you don't want to wait around for that, um, basically, you can just check out my full breakdown now. Link in the description below, uh, whether it's on my Patreon, whether you want the ebook, the full video, uh, what have you. If you want to see more Steelers, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know. Uh, in the comment section and i can always do more uh, but i'm probably gonna move on there's a lot of playbooks that i haven't touched on yet um, and typically when i do a full breakdown i, I kind of want to leave that uh, alone and move on to new uh new greener pastures i guess <laughs> i guess you can say but there's a lot of really good playbooks. i haven't done the falcons yet i haven't done the broncos the, the cardinals those are probably the three playbooks uh that i'm planning on trying to do next because they're very popular other than that thanks for watching mad money shit out